Carnegie Institution scientist Eric Hari is leader of a research team that has discovered that the moon has much more water than previously expected. The scientist examined samples of magma trapped within crystals collected by the Apollo 17 lunar mission and found 100 times more water than previous measurements. These results could change the prevailing theory of the moon's origin. The research team used a state-of-the-art NanoSims ion microprobe to measure seven tiny samples of magma trapped within lunar crystals as so-called melt inclusions. These samples came from volcanic beads which contain the crystal-hosted melt inclusions. These inclusions were prevented from losing the water within when explosive volcanic eruptions brought them from depth and deposited them on the moon's surface eons ago. Compared to meteorites, the Earth and inner planets have low amounts of water and other volatiles. That the moon had even lower amounts of volatiles was taken as evidence that it had been formed in a high-temperature catastrophic giant impact. But this new evidence shows that aspects of that theory must be re-evaluated. The study also puts a new twist on the origin of water ice discovered at the lunar poles, which had been attributed to comet and meteoroid impacts, but could possibly have come from past volcanic eruptions. The research is published in the May 26th edition of Science Express. The Carnegie Institution has had over 100 years of extraordinary discoveries. To continue this tradition, Carnegie scientists need your support. For more information about this and other cool science, visit our website at carnegiescience.edu. This is John Strom.